Hello and welcome to the beautifully sunny Isle of Man. My name's Joanna Onva and I'm going to be showing you three of the best golf courses that you can play here on a golf tour on the Isle of Man. So if like me you prefer to travel light, don't worry because you can hire the latest tailor-made equipment here on the island. So all levels are catered for. But in the meantime, before we tee off, we're going to take a look at some of the other fabulous attractions that you can experience whilst here on the island. Famous as the home of the TT races, the Isle of Man is a world-class destination for motorsport. Every year, thousands flock to the island to experience the thrill of this prestigious and hair-raising event up close. For a relaxing change of pace, taking a journey on one of the island's heritage railways is a wonderful way to experience the beautiful Manx countryside and take a step back in time. Douglas is the capital. It's a beautiful, picturesque seaside town. It's located on the east of the island. While you're here, why not learn about the history of the island and have a look at some of the local landmarks? And then, of course, there is Port Erin Beach, which is situated on the southern tip of the island. The Isle of Man has 100 miles of breathtaking coastline, which you can explore by taking a stroll on one of its many trails. Walking trails are a terrific way to discover the island's diverse countryside from the sandy beach. But whether you want to explore the island by foot, steam train, or from the comfort of your car, you shouldn't miss Peel Castle, which was built by the Vikings in the 11th century. But today I'm here touring the golf courses and I'm going to start at one of the best on the island, Castletown. The clubhouse is a great place to unwind before or after a game with a cold drink from the bar or a delicious hot meal from the restaurant. You can relax by the fireplace or take in the views of the Darbour Haven Bay from the clubhouse deck. This course was first laid down in the early 1900s. It was then redesigned after the Second World War by Ross McKenzie. It's a fabulous golf course with beautiful views and the Irish Sea surrounds the course on all three sides. And if you're just lucky enough, you might just catch a whale as it swim past just off the coastline. The course provides some of the purest links anywhere on the British Isles. It's a traditional Lynx 18-hole golf course. The greens are small and often protected by the traditional Lynx humps and hollows that are created by the excessive bunkering. So there you have it, Castletown Golf Club, the most fabulous seaside Lynx and a challenge to any top golfer at 6,700 yards off the white tees, but equally a challenge for any club golfer off the yellow tees. I'm now off to play our second golf course on our golf tour, but this time with a bit of a difference. I'm here at Mount Murray Golf Club, a beautiful golf course set in the rolling countryside. It's an 18-hole championship golf course and is home to some of the best facilities on the island. There's an open plan bar, a 100-seated restaurant and a snooker room. You can take relaxation to a new level at the Hydro Centre. Back on the course, you can get in some practice on the island's only covered driving range. Mount Murray is set amid the beautiful Manx countryside, with streams, lakes and hedges on view throughout the whole of the golf course. The 18-hole Moorland course, it's one of our longer courses and comprises of five challenging par fives, six par threes, and seven demanding par fours. I'm now playing the 13th hole. It's called the dog leg, so the clue is in the name. It's a beautiful sweeping par five, but at 496 yards off the white tees, it's quite birdieable for the longer hitter. As you can see, Mount Murray has more facilities than you can shake a club at with its fabulous scenery and fantastic practice facilities. It's a golfer's haven. I'm now off to the King Edward Bay Golf Club, so I shall see you there. The 
positioned high up in the village of Onken, King Edward Bay has some of the most fantastic views on the island. An 18 hole links course, the springy mountain turf is quite exceptional and there are some impressive holes. The short 14th hole, a par 3, with carry over heather, also has some magnificent views of Douglas Bay in the background. The 15th hole is a tester and has wrecked many a good card. Castletown, Mount Murray and King Edward Bay are just three of the nine outstanding courses on the Isle of Man, making it a real golfer's paradise. If you've got the energy to spare, why not take a brewery tour, fishing or boat trip, karting or one of the other many excursions on offer. After a thrilling day on the golf course, there's nothing like enjoying a bit of local hospitality. This specially brewed beer is really hitting the spot. Well, I've had a fantastic time, but sadly I've got to go home. But with the great golf courses, the amazing scenery, and all the brilliant things to do while you're here, it's easy to see why the Isle of Man has become known as the jewel in the Irish Sea.